Today I'm going to show you how to make easy do-it-yourself bath bombs for Halloween using these little cauldrons. My first ingredient is baking soda and I'm using two cups. I have one and a half cups of citric acid. I have one fourth of a cup of Epsom salt and one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Then I'm using three tablespoons of castor oil. And you can use any kind of oils that you want. Uh, the colorant that I'm using is from Crafter's Choice. It is stained glass forest green liquid color. And this is water-based, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with my oil before I add it to my dry ingredients so that it doesn't activate it too soon. And I am using Witch's Brew from Nature's Fragrance today. And I'm gonna add that right into my oils. I'm using three milliliters. You can use fragrance oils or you can use essential oils. If you're not someone who makes soap products already, um, a lot of the companies that you get fragrance oils from, you can get sample sizes and those are perfect for little batches like this. I'm just mixing these dry ingredients a little bit before I add the oils in. And you'll start to see a little bit of bubbling and that is the reaction. And so you wanna whisk this together to stop that reaction from happening. Now you can use a hand mixer or a whisk, or you can do this by hand. And I always like to finish it off by hand just to make sure everything is mixed. So the consistency that you're looking for is gonna be more on the dry side. So you just want it to be wet enough that if you squeeze it together, it won't break up. I think the hardest part of making bath bombs is getting them to stick in the mold and then getting them out of the molds. So that's why these are the perfect bath bombs to start with because you put it into the mold and you never have to take it out. So I'm just going to start packing these in. So for the tops of these, I found these super cute sprinkles. So I'm gonna use some of these. And then I found these that have little eyeballs on them, which I think are gonna look perfect on the top of these. I'm just gonna press these down into the bath bomb while it's still wet. And then add some eyeballs because how cute is that? So this ended up filling up 
seven of these little cauldrons. You want to let these sit for 24 hours before you use them or package them. And you can take a little paint brush after they're dried to get off any of this little dust. These are so cute for Halloween. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions for any do-it-yourself bath and body products or crafts that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.